Hello. Sorry, I forgot that I needed to take my vitamins as well. And uh, that took a bit longer than I expected because of that. So, today, I'm going to try and do some uh, stuff that's a little bit different. No, um, so what I'm going to do, first of all, because, so, as of recent, um, I've started uh, devising an exercise regime for art which this was founded on a lot of um experienced uh people spe uh like talking and stuff like that and a little bit of a mix of what i know i need to work on um but for the most part this stuff here is foundational stuff that was explained to basically be very worthwhile doing across the board now i'm gonna do it very fast because i've been doing it very fast at the moment just because i don't have that much time um but i would recommend this kind of entire thing i'm doing uh, uh, like the thing i'm gonna do for the exercises be done over two hours because that was what i was hearing suggested um well no okay doing your full like practicing for the day over two hours this maybe is the big warm-up exercise um so this may be taking half an hour to an hour but again i'm going to go through this very fast so i'm going to use this piece of paper here that you can see and we're going to design the couple of things that we need to do now you might go it's like oh so what are, what are the exercises well the exercises are actually really simple so do, well, I say they're simple. They're simple in explanation. They're complex in execution. So the biggest difficulty is... I'm going to lift my arm up a little bit. So typically, I'm really bad for kind of drawing like this. So I rest on the thing and then I'll tap down. You should not do this. This is a terrible habit and it's going to hurt you in the long run um what was being explained is you need to kind of work from your elbow because that way you actually have a lot more power and control eventually it takes just a really long while so keep in mind while doing this like i can do the drawings really well when i've got my hand resting on the tablet but what i'm doing now is doing these exercises without resting so it's a bit of a learning curve because i've always kind of rested on the paper um there's a reason why i got gloves at one point to so i don't smudge things as much um when i was working on them so the first one is curved lines now the difficulty with this one is not the curved lines per se but the task is to draw them as fast as you can or trying to keep them as close to the previous line as possible and as smooth as possible make it one fluid movement and you can see i'm pretty bad at this it doesn't help that i'm currently being electrocuted for uh it's a, a therapy thing digital therapy device But I'm not going to use that as an excuse. And I'm using alternating directions on it. So going up and then down, um, up one time and then down the other, just to try and cement it. Now, I'd recommend doing this multiple times over, but at the moment, what I've been doing is just working to fill the page. So then the next one is slightly 
less confusing, but it's just to draw circles. But as you can see, drawing circles, not so easy. Now again, all of this has foundational explanation as to why it's valuable. Drawing the curved lines, it helps you with doing shading later. It helps you just in general do the lines properly, uh, everything like that. Circles, I mean, if you actually look at uh, character, uh, character art, um when it's being done almost all of it can be boiled down to circles so the better you are at drawing a circle especially from your elbow it's uh the better you uh, the better off you will be again as you can see this is a slightly difficult thing at this stage because i'm getting oh good lord i'm getting some that aren't horrific uh what you can do by the way for this bit uh if you really want to improve faster is quickly create um kind of like a target zone and use that as your reference point Because again, like if I just rest my hand quickly. While it's not perfect, it's significantly better. Oh, just give me a sec. I'm going to just quickly turn my cam off because i need to change the therapy thing uh where is my webcam group Oof. Oh. it's always a fun time when you start it up for the first bit oh i see oh i'll get used to it all right no oh, no 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 whoops i'm so tabbed into my thing i almost deleted my webcam set up that would have been really irritating um okay so next this one's actually quite interesting um this makes again this one i feel is a lot more si <sighs> sorry that one really spiked in oh i'm gonna have to lower the intensity because that's hurting a lot Give me a sec, I'm going to move one of the paddles a little bit. That's a bit more doable. Okay, so this one is uh, drawing from low pressure to high pressure in a single line. So what I mean by that is going like that. And trying to make it as smooth of a transition as possible.
You can do the lines however you wish. You just need to try and make sure they don't look like a tadpole. And try and make them as clean of a line as you can as well. Again, just practicing. Oh, that's affecting one of my old scars, isn't it? That's what it is doing. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's really distracting, huh? Maybe I should... I wish I could do it later, but I have a very busy today. today. And I don't want to forget to do this, because otherwise it's going to be bad for me in the long run. But yeah, so that's that bit. Then, okay, so this one's again very simple um, and very self-explanatory. Draw vertical and horizontal lines. Now, I try and draw them the whole length of the page. Try and make them as straight as possible. Ow. I did that in time with a pulse. I'm going to undo those because I did both of those in time with a very painful pulse. How far through is this? It's only got two, it's only done two minutes out of the 15. Oh yeah, I'm going to set up a bit more because it's going to hopefully help. Yeah, that helps a lot more. Wow. Okay. <laughs> We're just going to pretend that didn't happen. So again, doing this from the elbow is the big thing. And not hitting the scroll bar. Again, figuring out how to do straight lines is just a very useful tactic as well as you'll want to know how to do horizontal and vertical lines just in general oh Jesus that came at a very bad pulse right oh my god tapping back in I swear okay now these ones Um, now, if you actually are interested to see how well you did, try and like look at some of these boxes and just hard pin over what you did and see like, okay, well, it's a little un more unflattering than it's truthfully, but see like kind of does that look like a nice clean square? Once you're getting that consistently across the board, then yeah, well done. Okay, shading. Now, I do this a very specific way. I do this inside of, like, a selected zone, because doing it in the entire page sucks. Then I use the round mixing brush, and I use between black and white. Because I feel that one's the best for doing this process. So this one should be very obvious what it is. 
is just practice your shading. Try and make it so there's no clear, distinct lines. Which, honestly, this is one of the faster ones to do, if you kind of get down to it. Um, But yeah, just try and do a nice clean shade. Uh, don't forget, by the way, when you do delete the page, like I've been doing, so I'll just be pressing uh, the delete button on the keyboard. Uh, it doesn't get rid of the box. You have to deselect that still. Then. Okay, this is the one I suck at the most. Um, and this is very evident from the novel drawing that I was doing is uh, ribbons so ribbons are important because they test a few different techniques but they're also essential for doing hair because it will teach you the uh, stuff for hair so what you try and do and you can already see that it looks ugly as hell that line is try and make a curvy line I'm just gonna ignore that bit Try and make a curvy line and then try and, oh Jesus, make something that matches it cleanly. There's a reason why you see when I'm doing my ribbons, I kind of, or my hair, I typically do this sort of stuff all the time. But we're trying to do it in fluid movements. Again, that's the big task of these exercises is to find a way to do all of this in one clean movement instead of having to sketch everything don't be afraid to again these are ribbons of don't be afraid to do this if you do this also take it as a challenge maybe do like a quick little bit of shading that uh, would be equivalent to what would be done. That's terrible shading, but again, like, just solidating the point. As well as, again, so must stress, I'm doing a lot of this drawing from my elbow, and I am being electrocuted. Um, oh God, that was terrible. So it's a lot more difficult because again, this is an entirely new drawing technique for me. Well, that was, we're not going to talk about that. That one's just about as bad. But yeah, I'll leave it at that. Again, ribbons are one of my worst things to do at this point. That's always kind of been the case. So let's move on to the next thing, uh, which is circles again, except slightly different. Now we're trying to turn them into spheres and ensure it looks like a sphere and make sure that you're trying to do it from different angles each time yeah i 
because this is a test of your 3d knowledge which is now going to be the theme that you'll see over the next rest of them <laughs> like before it was just like the foundational stuff now we're doing 3d wow that was garbage I swear I'm actually normally a lot better at this process um these exercises it's just again I am currently being <laughs> electrocuted and it is far earlier than I normally do these exercises I normally do these after uh I finish streaming actually or after a small break after I finish streaming I think the latest I've done one of them recently was uh after lunch that was just pure and simply because that day was going really poorly for me. It's also taking me like twice as long because I'm trying to explain and talk while doing this, which... Um, okay, here's the other big thing about this that like I'm basically breaking all the rules of while I'm doing this. When you... Jesus. When you do this, do not do it with any distractions i'm literally distracted to the ends of the earth i've got a, an electrocution thing i'm trying to do a stream constantly talking and i've got music playing do none of that nothing nothing on your second monitor nothing anywhere just sit there quiet and do these tasks then you can draw with music later that's fair but do these without tasks because so the explanation that was given um by the guy that i'm mainly f doing a lot of this stuff via um his discretion is um he uses a psychological argument that is actually founded um which is kind of the whole thing of if you're doing something it's best to do just that so you get more of that in your brain now that's not going to work if you're disinterested so if you're not interested in art or don't have drive for art that's not going to do anything at that point in time yeah go listen to music because this is not going to help you too much um but the rest of the but like for those that are got a got a desire for it or have a purpose then uh, it's really wise to just not do anything. Now, this is the next exercise. So what you're going to do, geez, that was terrible, is you're going to draw kind of a square, but a rhombus sort of thing, um, and try and figure out where the center line would be if this was just a square at an angle. So again, talking about that 3D sort of mentality. Cool, my thing's finished. I'm just going to quickly remove all the stuff and clean it up so again i'm just going to turn off the webcam right, where the fuck's the paddle thing there fucking hurt apologies for the swearing <laughs> there we go and it back that's one distraction got um but yeah so also again try and do this all with your um elbow and try and do it at different angles with uh like different intensities god my lines are terrible just gonna fucking you know for this exercise i have been really bad at this but sometimes i'll just put 
my hand on the thing. Like I say, you're not supposed to. Again, do, do as I say, not as I do. Again, the narrower it is, the further it's going to be. Now, again, I'd actually normally do a lot more than this, but again, I was hugely distracted while I was doing that. Um, to find the center, the best way is to draw a straight line to this corner and then a straight line to this corner. And now you've found where the center line would be. So I got this horribly wrong. <laughs> this one... Let's see... I again got that very wrong this one let's see if I can even no it's not gonna be an easy line so it's the second line so you see I actually got this wrong by the other way it should be here from the looks of it so again this is training your perspective knowledge this one still got it wrong but not too bad this one i'm pretty sure i got wrong oh wow i have to say not as wrong as i would have thought but yeah so you've got that task as well then we've got the sort of final task there's one task after this but i'm going to kind of forego it today uh in the desire to actually do a drawing instead which i haven't kind of done a proper drawing in a few days but i'm going to use it as a foundation point for it so the next exercise is to draw cubes try and draw one cube figure out the volume of that cube just in general and consistently use the same volume and then draw it at different angles. You can do different cubes. I'm just going to do different ones because I've made that one disgusting at the beginning. But try and do them as the same volume because that actually will result in far better consistency training now typically the last one is um kind of what's the term for it? is it is expression more or less what you want to do is you want to look up like a um image of like a reference pose from an actual person like a, a model you can easily look it up like i think i literally just type in like male reference pose or female reference pose i alternate daily and then your task is to redraw that person with as much detail and as few in as few of lines as possible so again against my quick sketchy structure that i do, uh, typically do you want to try and make one fluid line so ironically enough these exercises took about the sort of time i'd recommend they normally take but again that's because how many times i stopped and how many times i talked through things and how many times i screwed stuff up um so i'd highly recommend trying to do that if you really do want to improve your art um especially with like a graphics tablet so you know your pressure sensory and stuff like that so you get used to it um 
but again there's there's limitations behind it all so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to pull up foxy boy come on launch there you go this one and what we're gonna do is we're gonna ignore color and i'm going to instead control shift new layer and i'm going to change the design a little bit because I, I came up with some stuff that i liked the idea of because um last time when i was doing the color i talked about how like i really liked dante's kind of um outfit and how i was basing a lot of the coloring off of that which i mean you can see with the the black and the um kind of maroon color uh based on his jacket and his shirt i kind of wanted to take that a step further and actually change this to being a jacket instead and of a weird little vest thing but like only a small-ish jacket so what i'm going to do and this is where it's going to get really weird oh whoops that was the wrong thing to turn off there is what i'm thinking is i turn the sleeves that we've got so far up to here into the jacket which means that i'd have to remove a lot of these creasing lines and reduce the ones that I won't be removing. So what I will do temporarily is just color over some of the ones that I don't want anymore with white. Instead of using it obviously an eraser of some kind. something like that then i was trying to decide do i want to kind of like lengthen the coat a little bit i don't think i do i think i kind of like the idea of it just being a simple jacket like this oh hit the scroll bar So again, now it's more of just a jacket than a shirt and stuff. So obviously the colors aren't going to work anymore because that. So how is a jacket typically drawn in anime? I 
that's Gura's hoodie, I'll have you know. That's not a jacket. Jacket and a hoodie are very different, how dare you? Well, it's very jank at the moment, but that's kind of expected when I'm changing something so significant with the character. Because I'm going to pull up another reference image of Dante. Dante, Devil May Cry 5. He's also got some fairly hefty, like, pads right up here. Do I want to try and mimic that to give a little bit of diversity and breath? I don't know, because he, he, he also doesn't really have much of a collar except for, like, an upturned one. Like, I, I've got something that comes all the way down. He doesn't. So it makes a lot of sense. Maybe we remove this and then add some stuff. I don't know. Like, I wouldn't mind adding maybe, um... Just a simple pocket off to one side here. Actually, you know, the more I'm kind of thinking on it, do we actually want this vest? Like, the vest kind of doesn't fit anymore, does it? So what if we remove it? So that means we need to add a 
new line down to here. That looks really jank at the moment, but... Can work on it later. Just testing out some stuff. Because what... There was a recent... Uh, character I saw I swear there's a new VTuber that came out of either Hololive or Niji Sanji that I looked at and I was like, damn, I want to, like, copy a couple of the <laughs> design decisions that they made with the character. I'm trying to remember which one it is, though.
Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the Niji Sanji. Why is it always just referring me to Lux? Uh, I don't... It's like, they were literally coming out, like, over the last two days, right? Aluna. Okay. Yes, there we go. Okay. Now give me a full thing. So Rin's auto. Ah yes, of course, a tiny image. Thanks. Better. Open image new tab. There we are. So this is the guy that I'm talking about that I've just been looking up. This is, there's some elements to this that I really like and I think I could utilize. So I'm going to use this as a bit of a reference point, but I do think that there's also some key differences of what I want with my design. Because, like, he's, I'm assuming, a demon of some kind. Something, whatever those horns are. They're slightly strange, I have to say. But, like, he reminds me more of, like, uh, I don't know what his actual lore is, but he reminds me more of, like, a underground businessman than a actual businessman. I mean, that's kind of where you got like some of the belts and stuff like that. Whereas I'm trying to make like, well, it might be an underground uh, bar or something like that that he's hosting. It's still supposed to be thing. So he's supposed to look like a very busy, busy body. Oh, for fuck's sake. Keep tapping on the wrong spot. Um, I do think rings are a good idea. I should probably add one. Uh, uh like, I'll figure that out later when I get a better idea. But again, like, that's the reason why, like, the sleeves are pulled up, is he's supposed to feel like someone that's actually working. Maybe I pull these up a little bit. So there. A little bit more uh, realistic. a bit more along those sorts of lines I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to actually look up some images
because this is much harder than you'd think to find the right referencing for this stuff. So there's like the half tuck, which is you don't tuck the back half. Or with a dress shirt, it's you don't tuck one side. I don't know, none of it looks actually that appealing when I kind of think on it more. Like, it might just genuinely be better to, uh... Have it just tucked, uh, tucked in naturally. I don't think there's a reason not to at this point. So is there any style decisions that we think would be a nice thing to do? Let's have a look at bartenders images male male bartenders we're looking for them specifically Again, like, I, I can't ever show, um, the, me looking at references just because it typically, <laughs> there's sometimes it comes up with stuff that I can't show. <laughs> yeah, it's one. He's in a very skimpy, exotic lingerie. <laughs> But it's a bartender outfit. Come on. Okay, like, 
to be perfectly honest right so this is the consistent thing it's either they're wearing a bloody apron or they're wearing a vest i'm doing neither of those now i just basically went through the effort of removing said vest from my design and i'm not putting it back also fun thing i just remembered i need to get rid of that bit and it's really easy because i can just erase um so how do we make this look cleaner i'm wondering if i actually add like kind of belts down to like this kind of simulating where the apron would be I know they're not even but I'm just kind of doing stuff at the moment just helps break stuff up a bow tie maybe i thought about something like that but it's just kind of like again i like the idea of him because uh when i look at some of the designs for it i'll pull over this uh you've got stuff like this dude here which i actually quite like this because this looks very um informal and like again it's supposed to kind of be like a back alley bartender so again like this kind of has a nice feel to it because it feels more open and not too excessively formal again if i wanted excessively formal i wouldn't have removed the uh vest because what if i remove that you can see that's what it was before with color kind of roughly that that's what it was and what i'm kind of detracting from is that over formality so if i was to do a bow tie it would be like a partly undone one and i don't think i really like the look of that not something that's consistently there i think that's my thought on it i know it's it's very difficult to kind of pin down exactly what i bloody well want with the design that's why i'm doing or uh, redoing it up like i still think i kind of want to have um some jewelry on his uh hands just to break it up but that's about it like i, I think the best description is think of this dude as like the bartender that you treat like you treat your uh your hairdresser slightly undone necktie see that i'm a lot more inclined to so something like along the lines of let's just uh put this again this is gonna look really horrible Like something along those sorts of lines wouldn't be horrific i feel actually the more i look at these the more of these remind me of just like a weird space thing because yeah no it's it's supposed to be a warmly sort of feeling that you have with this character like a not homely but like you you feel comfortable talking with he's sitting there he's serving your drinks and you you're chatting about your day's problems and he's giving you a lovely kind smile
but he's also being like run ragged because it's a long day <laughs> i don't know this is, i i'm not even writing the backstory for this dude that's just me like how i envision the character so how do you make that look nice Oh, jeez. I mean, the fact is, I could make the argument of it's like, oh, well, the drawing was fine as it was. It's like, yeah, but this is also supposed to be something I'm using. So I don't exactly want to uh, half measure it. I want to do it properly. I want to make it com like I'm completely happy with it. That's why I removed the vest. That's why I've removed a bunch of stuff. And I've tweaked the jacket so it's now actually a jacket and not just like a weird vest thingy. Which again, like, uh, most of the time if you see a jacket on one of these, it's a formal one. This is going to be a leather jacket. Like, if I go into here. Imagine you walk into, like, this sort of place. I, I found this as a reference art. So you walk into this sort of place and you see this dude uh, at the counter. That's a leather jacket. Yeah, it's not very clear at the moment, especially knowing that with the color thing, you can kind of see it's very based on Dante from Devil May Cry. So, uh, like, get past all of this. Very much uh, this sort of coloring. Kind of like the pinky uh, maroon leather with the black shirt underneath. Again, I've not bothered to texture anything at this stage because that's just gonna be a f ball bag. But yeah, like you, you go into the bar and you see that fella in there and it's like a, a, you go on down an alleyway, found this random pub bar thing and you come in and that's what you're greeted with. That's the feeling I kind of want with this dude. So how do you make that kind of warmly feeling? While also making him aesthetically pleasing, which is why I say like, I'm going to look at some jewelry stuff for the hands, like rings and some, or maybe a bracelet on one side just to kind of break up the uh, thing like uh, if I was to do a uh, more and have the sleeves a little bit more wrinkled yeah i mean like if i bring the down by like another thing so down here instead so again quick sketching is basically my only skill and yet i'm still terrible at it because I mean like I've just done these uh, sleeves up like this because if I pull this away you can see like when it was the more clothy I had a lot more creasing and stuff like that. I'm trying to f I don't know how you crease leather. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Like I think it just uh, flattens doesn't it? So it would be a lot of, uh... I 
that sort of stuff right that looks terrible for that spot speed the other way but very very quick thing kind of something along those sorts of lines I do think that the one more button down wouldn't be bad. I just might need to spread the core out a little bit more so it would be more here than there. At that point in time, do I want to put it underneath the jacket then? Like the where the collar goes? Because if I do that, so this comes over it more because this would be out way further. So it'd be technically more here because it's coming from there. So it comes over like that. There's a risk with that though. It's the fact that I'll be removing a lot of the details around that area. So I have to be a lot more reliant on the jacket. I mean, that's not a bad thing. It's just something I have to take into consideration. I mean, I still don't even know. Should this jacket be a zip up or a button up or if it's a zip up, I have to get rid of this stuff down here. So it would be. More of the, along the lines of this. I don't know if I like that more. I mean, it's extremely empty, so I need to do something to fill that space. Like a pocket or two. Because the other thing is, right, so um, I don't know if you were here for this, uh, client, but um, I did originally have it so, like, one of the sides of the shirt was untucked, and that just didn't work very well. So uh, I've got hesitation on playing on that too much. I mean, like, I could always... Well, let's get r real rancy with this. I could always, like, undo this button and then have it... Um, untuck from here instead so you get to see a little like a little bit of belly but then at that point in time it's like would you would you happily come into a bar where a dude's basically sitting there like looking like he didn't even put his clothes on I don't know, like, that, that one, that feels a little too far for me. That sort of uh, maneuver, so... Which again, like, it, it, it's the whole problem of, uh, yeah, that would not look good, yeah, exactly. I'm pretty sure if, like, a, basically any uh, inspector came in, it's just like, yeah, it's a no from me, dog. I, I still want it to feel like this could be someone you see running a business like this. Because I'm far too realistic to not want that. I'm a grumpy old man after all. So with that into consideration. Again, like that's why I'm saying like the bracelets, the uh, some rings and stuff like that would help break up the formality. I mean, do I put like a glove on one hand maybe? Like one of those sort of like uh, fingerless gloves to try and help um, make an argument of like, oh, he's got a bit of grip with that. So like on uh, this side, we give him something along the lines of...
there. I mean, like, that doesn't look bad. I don't know if it fits right, though. Like, it'd have to be coloured, like, black or something like that to work with everything so far. Because, like, it's probably going to be, like, dark blue blacks for most of the outfit and then the pinky maroon sort of, uh, for the jacket. I need to probably look up a complementary art chart and see what I can do with that. Because I also need to work it with the uh, colouring for like the fox stuff of the character. Don't want it to contrast too much because like Dante works really well because he's got silver hair as well. And does that mean I have to force my character into having silver hair? I don't know if I'm quite happy with that. I could do it, I wouldn't be against it, it's just like, it wouldn't be my first choice. But, I do think I need to add, I'm not going to add them in properly, I'm just going to add this stuff back. Because I think that just looks nicer like that. Because like, so these um cuff points here that you see with the jacket that's not actually the jacket that will be the shirt still so i should probably add in an extra layering for where the jacket's going to be creased in bit of eye bags yeah that could work I don't know if I want to make the character a smoker though. Cause like that's a, that's a commitment there in its own right. I mean like with that glove it makes a lot of sense that it'd be a smoker, but like I uh, know, because uh, again, uh, I, I also take the hesitation with that, but like the, the eye bags, I don't, okay, this is where I, I come from like that uh, customer services perspective, right, is I did all of my damnedest to not show how bloody tired I was at the end of the day, but like my outfit typically showed, because like it would be a little bit more disheveled, there's a little bit of stuff on it, um... That was back when I was working at uh, fast food and like it would just be the trade of the day. But like you yourself looked clean, you, like your face looked fine. You can sort of maybe see like a bit of bags under the eyes from time to time and see a very empty stare if it's been a very long day. Um, but for the most part, like you didn't have any features that would be very obvious. As well as I also, uh, in our country, you can't smoke inside in any business. So that's another hesitation I have. But it's just because of, again, cultural bias. Even though, like, at this point in time, this is seeming more like the, I think my friend termed it as like a Yakuza bar sort of style. Like a Yakuza bar cafe. I've got that image. I've got like a couple more that I'm using as my foundation idea clean look but the clothes are kind of ragged yeah like it, it's weird it's not a there's not an easy description for exactly what i'm looking for but i'm looking for a dude that like he looks like he's doing his damnedest to keep up with everything but like again it's the bartender you feel comfortable with and like him being slightly ragged with clothing and stuff like that it feels more comfortable than him fully uptight perfect tie and everything like that because you've got 
uh, I, was, I was talking about um, you had the recent Niji Sanji dude that came out with this outfit. And I was using this as like a foundation point for like, oh, I might have a quick squiz at this today to see what I can glean from it. But the problem is this seems like a dude that has never like actually worked in his life. Like this sounds like, this seems like an underground uh, company boss. Like not a like mafia boss. No, no, no. He's just, he runs like a brothel or something like that. And he organizes a few things off to the side. He doesn't actually do fucking work. Because he doesn't have, like, he can protect himself, sure, but, like, he probably doesn't work a goddamn day in his life properly. This dude is supposed to feel like you can go, yeah, no, I've had a bad day. You've clearly also had a fucking intense day, but you're still, like, there for me. Not looking like it's just, like, I want to go home now. You're just taking up more of my time. It's that barkeep that like, will close the door and just like, yeah, you know, you can stay here for a bit longer. I see no reason why I should kick you out. I'm just going to clean some stuff up. If you need another drink, holler. Probably not quite that casual, but like a little bit more smooth. Again, that's why it's just like, I don't know if the glove works with that idea. The more I'm thinking on it. Yeah, I don't think the glove works. Get rid of the glove. This is the difficulty with doing this sort of stuff, is you can kind of envision all the aspects to it, but, like, it's that whole argument of, like, a, a picture paints a thousand words, but, like, the problem is... It's also as hard as writing a thousand words. <laughs> you have to figure out the way to write those thousand words still. Is the jacket really needed? I know, like I've really thought on that a lot. Because, again, like, the original design, we take this away, had it as kind of more, like, a vesty thing. And then I had an actual, like, formal vest underneath. Because, like, if, we're being per if I'm being perfectly honest, a good barkeep will actually have um, just a shirt or a vest or a full suit or just a shirt with an apron. Like, that's how I tip you typically see them. So why would he have a jacket on? Especially inside, like, a leather jacket. <sighs> I like the idea of it still, though. Like, it's, it's very much one of those conflicting moments of, like... <sighs> do I get rid of a thing that I was like, ah, I kind of like the idea of it just because it doesn't quite fit anymore? Because like, if I get rid of that, then it would make more sense to get the vest back in. I think. But then I, my other issue is it feels far too similar to another design that I've done recently, which is... Uh, this one. If that makes sense. Like, it, it just feels a little too similar to this idea. I don't want to get called out for doing the exact same drawing every fucking time. Um, but no, it's... it's mm. Like, I do agree the jacket is a big question that needs to be posed. It's like, is it actually worth having the jacket still? 
I guess maybe I'm committing too hard to it because I really want to copy Dante's style. Ah, but Dante's really fucking cool. I'm loving Devil May Cry and like I genuinely think it's one of the best games I've ever played. Hmm. Let's see, Luke from Eternal, I do like that, actually. I really do like that. Yeah, maybe? Like, it, instead of the bow tie and the updone collar, just remove that a little bit and go with that kind of vest. That kind of design with a twist, yeah. Then I could actually probably still have it as like a maroony sort of color and then still have a, yeah, I could just tweak the colors. Yeah, no, that works. I think that actually looks nice because it also keeps that apron sort of thing in there. Again, very practical, very realistic. No, that's awesome. Thank you for that. Uh, yeah, I might actually use that as a good reference point because uh, like I'm guessing if I just open up the image individually, this is what you're talking about here. All right. Yeah, that, that actually looks really nice. I really like this design. I could, I very much could do something with that. Okay, yeah, no, all right. <laughs> so goodbye to the jacket. Oh, have they, okay. I'm looking at the design further, all right. So it looks like they've got like a silver thing underneath, which connects down to the apron almost. So it seems like they've almost got like a full bodied apron underneath it. And then the vest over the top. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. So if we just kind of, I'm just gonna dot this around so I can kind of still know where everything is. Does mean I kind of want to probably bring the sleeves up. So it would be collar comes down to here. Over the top of the vest probably still. And then that comes down to this point okay and then
Yeah, it's actually a good point. So I keep like this side being long and then maybe raise this side up a little bit more. So they're already kind of uneven. So it would be more here, which covers over the elbow. Again, keep in mind this is going to be very rough and ugly drawing because I'm just getting an idea for where everything is. Welcome to my initial designs. Actually, that's kind of more here. Yeah. I had to draw sketches very rough. I feel like that's kind of one of the things that really bugs me is when I see like uh, really talented artists and they're like, oh, I'm just going to do a quick sketch. Fucking like five seconds later, it's like, cool. So this is my rough sketch and it's better than anything I could have ever like come up with in my entire life. That That hurts my soul. Like the original design for this I did in like 40 minutes, which if we take all this away, that. Well, okay, no, the ears were basically triangles, but basically I did this in 40 minutes. So I felt like I did pretty well with that, but like this one... Again, like this, I don't have as solid of idea in my head for, so I'm still trying to. But I'm definitely going to use that as a huge reference, like, because I think that actually looks really good. takes hours to make i mean again it's like everyone goes at different speeds like some things i do well uh some things i don't like very much is the case like i'm still really horrible with um very specific things i mean if you've seen some of the other drawings that i've done on stream here uh you'll know that yeah i take ages sometimes to do like hair here hands and any like significant like these hands um in the very very original drawing which i'm sure i can actually find can i oh god i don't know if i can find it anymore oh that's sad yeah, the hand looked ugly as hell. It was <laughs> doesn't help that they're like like big yaoi hands. <laughs> Gotta love them yaoi hands, eh? So it would come down to the hip slightly, and then it would go down like this. So have a pocket there, yeah.
Did I? No. I think I'd have to remove the pocket. I'd need to make the hand over the front of it. Which is annoying. <laughs> right here is an example. I don't know how to draw fucking hands. I swear to God. Things are... These things are impossible to draw. Probably gonna have to shrink the chest area a little bit because I think it's a little too long now. <laughs> I mean, fun fact: uh, this hand on the uh, the left side of the drawing that is actually a copy paste, and I just redrew it. <laughs> if you actually look closely, you'll see exactly the same structure behind it, just widened and then like shortened a little bit to try and make it look like a different angle. <laughs> See, the moment you fucking say it, you, you exactly know what I'm talking about. Because <laughs> I did this hand on the other side, like... I did it perfectly, initially. The other hand looked like a demented, like... I don't know what it was. So yeah, I just was like, I spent like half an hour or an hour almost trying to do this hand. I'm like, ah, oh, bugger it. Took that, redesigned it, and it was like, done. <laughs> I lost my shit while I was doing that. It was very funny. Exactly. Like, it's just, wh why bother trying to put in the effort with that when you've already done it correctly another time? It's the smart, smart, uh, smart artist, uh, approach there. Why waste time when you've already done it? Maybe that's the coding mentality coming through. I used to do a lot of computer coding. And that's basically, you spend you, half your day googling everything. <laughs> why reinvent the wheel when someone's clearly gonna do it better than you? Probably need to shrink the center hole a little bit. It's a little too excessive at the moment. Which means that I need to shrink these in compensation because this it's a bit higher it needs to be a bit higher <laughs> exactly like nah I, I i said to one of my colleagues at 1.4 it's just like why reinvent uh why, like why it's like oh you google everything it feels like you're cheating all the time it's just like why should i not utilize other people's co uh caches and stuff like that when they've clearly done the research and figured out how to do it that's what every good coder does like the the main skill a coder needs to learn is how to Google things, not how to code. Problem solving is like the next thing, but like you'll, you'll figure that out eventually. 
Software engineering is literally just sitting there looking at errors turn up and then googling why errors turned up. You find a forum from like five years ago and it's like, oh, finally. I have an answer. I have to be careful because at the moment this looks very feminine because of how narrow I've made it. Maybe I should widen a little bit more. And how angular things are at this stage as well. Yeah, it's like this shoulder over here. That's, I think that's wide enough. It's this shoulder here. I need to widen, I think. But again, it's it's, it's the harsh angles is uh, what's actually really affecting it at this stage. Because, um, fun fact, if you want to make a feminine body, you do much more it's, uh, accentuated angles at spots of the body. That's how you get that petite-ish figure that uh, typically is seen in anime. Whereas if you just make it, like, straighter and blockier, then it naturally kind of lends itself to the more male design. Which is actually they utilize to make traps, as they make a very flat design but they still give it um accentuated angles in some spots which leaves you very confused So it has kind of like these little belt things here. They go all the way over to here. So I'm going to have to probably drag the center line further over. So maybe here. to slim them down a little bit again i think the biggest problem i have at the moment is i think the entire top half is a little he needs to be brought down a little bit so what i kind of mean and this is gonna look real jank but i can fix this later is if we take actually no i need to go from here to here kind of do something along those sorts of lines just to kind of show what I'm talking about like I need to flatten them out a little bit more but I'm going to not do that for now because that's going to require a significant overhaul over everything and I kind of want to do that once I've got a bit more of a finalized design uh, worked out before I fix uh, anatomy
Okay. So why has he got a gun strapped to his hip and he's got a mop, that character? This Luke fella? Dare I ask? Yeah, like it's um, very much you try and do it still in that sketch phase, but like I'm pretty you know, by day and an assassin by night. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, no, fair enough. But why would he have the gun so off? I mean, yes, obviously for design purposes, it makes sense. But like if you're an assassin, wouldn't you hide your weaponry? <laughs> or am I out of touch? <laughs> Maybe this is Texas. That's probably why. Kids nowadays running around with their firearms hip strapped to their hips. I swear. Back in my day, we had to figure out a way of concealing that shit. was more a jumper or something i mean yeah i think i saw that which again like can very much understand how you can hide a gun in a jumper very much so i don't know i guess in high class you show your firearms before you assassinate <laughs> It's just that scene from uh, Spy X Family. It's like, sorry, I've come, a bit come to kill you. Um, would you uh, be kind enough to just die for me, please? Exactly, yeah. Icy picks. I can't actually remember the Japanese off the top of my head. I apologize for that. I want to remember my Japanese a little bit better. But my brain is fried. <laughs> fried as the chicken I ate last night. But see, like, this is a very narrow chest at this point. I need to, uh... Actually blend it properly.
That looks a bit weird. Moment, it looks like he's wearing like a corset. Holy shit! <laughs> Just strapped to one side, pulling him apart. Great times. I need to figure out a way of making that not look so. Oh, come on, stretch. So uh, egregiously painful. I need to fix that thumb at some point too. I'm actually pissed off at looking at that thumb now. It angers me. I mean, at one point in time, right, while I was redrawing that hand, it basically was like twice the size. Full body change of the angle. I think I have to do a full body change again. Like I have to do a resizing of the top. So I need to widen the stomach area a little bit, then I need to flatten the image, then sh narrow it again, the entirety, to accommodate. Sounds really weird. Um, but I, kn I know what I need to do, it's just a lot of tiny little details that are going to look really jank until I have a much more concise idea of the image. Because at this point in time, this is a bunch of white and black ink over the top of this. Wow, he real slims down, doesn't he? <laughs> Look at... This is like the fucking definition of uh, me before I started watching like VTubers and anime. Me after watching VTubers and anime. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Got that slim feminine figure now. All I need is some thigh highs that are striped with like pink and white. Perfect. That's that's exactly what I need to do. And then you're good to go. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know it. We all know it. Oh, God. Let me just add, like, the frills to the bottom of the uh, thing here. So it'd be, uh, what? Kind of like that. There you go. There's your... There's your fr I get rid of that before I accidentally forget. Like, this is the body you see on Asama walking up to you, swaggering with, like, just... But yeah, so what I need to do is I need to widen the stomach. Then I need to shrink the image in. And then I need to shrink the entire image to accommodate. Because this needs to come in line, uh, like this chest area, while it needs to stay the same, it needs to probably come into this line here. More or less is how I put it. I used to actually draw those lines on my drawings when I knew I'd done something wrong. So I would accommodate to where I l uh, lined it up. Again, I'm, I'm really, really bad at uh, expression and anatomy. Because uh, I haven't done art for so long. That, like, I kind of knew what I was doing back when, but... <sighs> like, now I'm just currently doing a lot of the stuff. Like, again, the first 
30 minutes of the stream is me showing the daily exercises I do for drawing, so. Like, I could just draw it out to here. Because the thing is, I'm probably, no matter what, going for a slimmer than what he was. I think. Yeah, just about. Just because it would it works better with this outfit because this outfit is again like this is designed to be on a slimmer person so while i'm not gonna slim him down completely because that goes to a very uh that goes a little bit away from because again this is supposed to be the foundation of the vtuber model that uh i think it was violent from uh the zyko land server said i should do uh, as well as a few other people have suggested I do it um just because I'm doing YouTube all the time and I thought it might be fun to do it as a fox haha <laughs> funnies um so this would need to come out to here just looking at this drawing and I'm figuring out what I need to change and this would need to go to here um but yeah i thought it would be interesting so this is a foundation of something i would be using as a form of myself and more or less like the bloody half the content i'm doing is me going on a tangent uh talking about designs or uh just random shit that i've i mean like i could talk about how there was like police outside my house uh yesterday which was really funny apparently they'll like ride up against uh like inside the gate uh because they'll just prepping for if the person that they were trying to find uh made a runner and jumped over the fence into our house good times good times <laughs> i love my neighborhood you just get some fun shit going on like we had one point in time where a dude was chasing another guy around with a machete this is such a wild place <laughs> I have plenty of stories um, that I will go through at some point, I swear. But again, like it, the big desire I have with this is that, like, again, I can actually do kind of sitting here and just talk streams potentially. Because at this point in time, I have to. I feel like I have to do something with every stream I do, just because no one else really watches. I can't just go through like talk about who I am and what I am and what I do so I do that amongst everything else so I'm sure if you look through all the bloody streams you'll find out a lot about me but also you'd have to go through every I'm sorry I'm just gonna be back in a sec one of the cats is really desperately trying to get into the office I'm gonna use you for the screen come here Say hello, you twat. This is the cat that was just scraping the hell out of my door just to try and get in and cuddle. Actually, I'm pretty sure if I do this, you can see him a bit better very dark though and it's very hard to hold him up because he very much wants to cuddle ah uh, there you go doctor it'll be very hard to draw for a little while I actually probably should finish up soon because I do have uh, a work meeting to go to quite early today
actually yeah no we've hit two hours i think that's a solid amount of time and a bit of work done um I, again thank you very much to client to giving me like a really good idea to go with and i'm gonna keep working on this a little bit off camera as well um he is purring like a bloody motorboat i swear uh, but yeah, I'm gonna work on this a little bit more, clean it up, and possibly do some of those resizings I talked about. Ah, you put the claws in now, buddy. <laughs> Into areas that I was electrocuting earlier, please don't. Uh, so, if you did enjoy the video, uh, and I hope you did, uh, consider leaving a like and comment, because that actually really helps out the video. But aside from that, thank you again very much for watching, and I hope to see you again tomorrow. I don't know what I'm streaming tomorrow. I should probably figure that out. Maybe Monster Hunter. Maybe. I'll see what other my other mates are thinking. But uh, yeah, no, that, that's all. Uh, <laughs> hope you enjoy the cat. Here, I'll go back to camera just so you can see the cat more. And he can, I, I would say he'd say goodbye, but, you know. Yeah, now, nah, see ya, see ya, and see ya. I'll uh, hopefully see you again another time. Until then, bye bye